Right then, welcome back to finally the second episode of the Newcastle United career mode. And we've made a lot of decisions between now and a month ago. Main one being not assign anyone in the opening transfer window and keep it with the team that we have to start and then make the signings in January. We have actually sold Dwight Gale to Roma. That must have been an offer that I accepted when I made the last episode. But obviously I completely forgot that I had accepted that, so... He's ended up going. This is the team that we're starting with. Almiron through the middle, Fraser and Maximin, Wilson, Hayden and Shelby. Then this back line with Dubrovka and goal. And they don't have the actual schedule for us that we play within the Premier League. But we will go with the schedule that they do have and we meet West Brom at home. I'm going to attend this first press conference. I'll attend all the press conferences that just won't be in the videos. You'll just, joining us, guys. Uh, you'll we'll just see the highlights. Now. Yeah, thank you. And of course we're just going to go to up morale as much as possible. So of course in real life Newcastle met West Ham at the London Stadium in the open air and it was a 2-0 win. But we do meet West Brom. And Henry Savé has been sold. And as Emil Kraft says, this game is a very important one. And realistically, the aim isn't to finish in the top half. So well, the aim is to finish in the top half. And I have actually just told him that we'll give him a chance. So I'm going to stick him on the bench for Richie, but it'll change afterwards. I shouldn't have picked that option, but we'll go with it. And the aim is to finish top half, but we're not going to be going for like Champions League football first season. Of course, if we go in here and go into settings, the difficulty should be on legendary. We're not going to turn competitor mode on, but the difficulty is on legendary, and we'll go back into that now. Legendary difficulty, four minutes per half, everything... Regular, we've got no changes to anything. Not another slide has been changed. And we'll just hop into the first game of the season. We host West Brom. And this is the first career mode game that I've played all all year. That's the West Brom starting lineup. As you can see there, they're starting at a 5-4-1. Oh, sorry, that's the probable lineup. That's quite cool. So here we go, West Brom, Newcastle. Big, big game. And it's time. St. James's Park's capacity packed. For some Premier League action between Newcastle United and West Brom. Here we go then. Big game. And you'll get the highlights from every game that we play. We're going to look to play five per episode. But here goes the opener of the season. Bit of a fortunate bounce there. Here's Callum Wilson. He's got Almiron in support. Almiron's got Shelby. Shelby's got a line-up to hit. Oh! What a strike, John Joe Shelby. And Newcastle leading the opener. And there's the celebration. That is beautiful. What a finish. West Brom standing off. Nice little drop in by Almiron. And he just hits it. And I don't know what West Brom are doing at the back there. They've got five men at the back. And yet Shelby's still got ten yards of space. And he has picked that one out. And it's Newcastle 1. West Brom nil. And it's the top scorer from last season. It's John Joe. Still alive. It's Almiron again. Good ball inside Ryan Fraser! 2-0. And it's the little Scott on the wing. Newcastle double their advantage. 
and inside the first 45 minutes West Brom look weak just playing it around them picking them apart picking up the gaps and it's a good touch inside from Fraser and the strikes nice and sweet and it just drops into that bottom right hand corner two for Newcastle nil for West Brom And here's Yedlin really playing with a little bit of intent. Hayden. He's got Almiron on the overlap. Can they make it three before the half? Hayden's there. Hayden! That is a fantastic little finish from Isaac Hayden there. On his left foot as well. Newcastle playing with fire here. It's a good ball. And then Almiron's got the space and he does well to get inside. And it is a fab finish from Isaac Hayden he's just caught it sweetly along the floor and the Gallagher end scene three in the first and it's another Miguel Almiron assist it's a good tackle from Almiron here comes Wilson he'll be hungry to get his name on the score sheet finds Almiron Almiron's got Hayden in support Hayden sees it maximum it's a lovely run and straight away in the second half Newcastle have added to the three of the first 45 to make it four goals to nil and it's Almiron again playing that little ball into Hay Hayden but it is a killer pass from Isaac Hayden to make it Newcastle four West Brom nil here comes Callum Wilson Wilson waiting for something and he's got Almiron Almiron's got Wilson back if he can find him he can and it's a lovely little finish Callum Wilson on his debut with a tidy little finish and it's 5 nil to 5 different goal scorers lovely move here good little knockback and a good little finish Newcastle 5 nil up within the hour looking to maybe make something of his Cameo and it's a lovely ball in Almiron. Can he get an assist for his troubles? He can. And Miguel Almiron is on the score sheet now. Who isn't on the score sheet today? Newcastle 6, West Brom 0. And I believe it's six different goal scorers. We've got Shelby at the first, Fraser. Then we had Hayden. We had St. Maximin. We had Almiron. And we had Callum Wilson at six different goal scorers. And it's a tidy little finish. Sam Johnson will not be liking his time in the Premier League thus far. As Newcastle have six up on the opening day of the season. And West Brom are predominantly keeping a hold of the ball in the last 10 minutes or so. But closing in on the end of stoppage time. They'll get this attack and then that'll be all. Medina now. Sells Shaw and the referee's blown it up there. It's Newcastle United six. West Brom nil and it is an absolute rampant display from the Magpies in the season opener we will attend this press conference And it's really a good indication there of what's to come. Of course, like I said, during the game, we will assess the situation Thank with competitive mode being turned off. And now we head to the King Power for Newcastle United versus Leicester City. Here we go. Newcastle, Leicester, the Foxes and the Magpies, and it's off.
Leicester into the box and it's the former Newcastle man. It's Ayose Perez. With the opener. And that is a lovely finish. And already this is proving a lot more difficult than the West Brom game. It's a fab finish. And it's 1-0 Leicester and that's his third goal. And they're back at us again here. Ricardo Pereira into Mendy and he's got the option of Slimani. Another former Newcastle player. They've got two in 14 and they both used to play for her. We're being dismantled at the King Power. This is shocking. There's rapid play from Leicester City and they've bagged one there. It's a good ball and they've just cut open with that through ball. And Slomani's on the score sheet. Good work to get that one away. And here comes Almiron. Almiron isolated. He can use his speed here. And here comes Almiron. Almiron's away from the halfway line all the way through. Almiron! That is a spectacular goal from Miguel Almiron. And that is simply beautiful from the little Paraguayan bring us back into this one it's a counter attack and he's isolated up there by himself he starts to get options but then he takes the big touch and it gives him that one on one with Kaspar Schmeichel just to put that one away and he's in amongst the goals in back to back weeks 2-1 Wilson, decent ball it's Sam Maximan, lovely from Sam Maximan, through the legs Fraser one on one, it's in off the post. And it's a comeback just as quick as they got there too. Ryan Fraser will celebrate with a Geordie Faithful. 2-2 two, two at the King Power and it's game on again. It's fantastic football from Sir Maximin who finds Almiron who gets himself another assist. And Miguel Almiron is having an absolute dream start to the campaign here. It's a fantastic finish from Ryan Fraser. And he's put that one away with little to no trouble. And he's in amongst the goals in back-to-back -back weeks as well. As it's 2-2. Matty Longstaff coming on in the calm role. In between Richie and Fraser. And Leicester, Leicester have got one. It's Ian Acho, It's the substitute. And we're going to make the change. Joe Linton's going to come on up front. We're trying to get some fresh legs into the attack. But... Mendy's found all Brighton and the substitutes are linked up. Shah's done well to block it and it's a fortunate bounce. And Leicester have got one. And here will come Joe Linton for Callum Wilson. And we need to try and get something here to maybe salvage a point. But it's looking that way. Leicester with a Hail Mary. Away goes all Brighton down the line. It's looking over. And despite the fight back in the first half, Jamal Lewis with a good tackle. Four minutes into the two. It's full time. And despite the clawback and Almiron's best efforts with a man of the match performance, Newcastle are short. Three goals to two. But here we go. We host Arsenal. The squad will line up a little bit different, I think. We're going to bring Matty Longstaff into the fray. And we'll leave the rest of it the same. So one change, Matty Longstaff will take the place in defensive midfield of John Joe Shelby. As we host Arsenal at St. James's. Here we go. You can see Shearer there. At the Gallagher. It's time for Newcastle United Arsenal. In the Premier League. Game week three. The man in form Miguel Almiron starts again in calm. And we look. To put a dagger into the Gunners side. It is Thomas Party here. Party finds Ozil back to party. Lovely one too there. Arsenal bumbling it through and Lacazette strikes and scores 
twenty second is the time stamp for their first goal and it's 1-0 to Arsenal at St James's Park it is a nice finish there we had numbers back we put in a couple of tackles misfortune and in the end a good finish 1-0 to Arsenal in the 22nd Here is Aubameyang on the attack now for Arsenal. And he's inside. And he's got one and it's in at the near post. And that's heartbreaking because we've been pushing for the equaliser. And it's disheartening. We're going to bring Joe Linton on for Callum Wilson there in the 80th. And you can see there that the Arsenal team of present day is starting to form through their substitutes. As they brought on Willian and Aubameyang during the second half. But... 2-0 down in our own backyard we'll see if we can salvage something even if it's just a consolation goal oh and that's in the area and it's a penalty kick and this is just going from bad to worse Shaw's in the book it's just a late challenge the ball's there to be won and he's just narrowly missed it and Caught Aubameyang, but Pepe will take the spot kick. And a Dubravka, it's off the bar and on the left. Dubravka goes the right way. That'll be it all. And we have failed to score in our first game this season. And it's a 2-0 defeat to Arsenal at home. It's a tough one to take. It's a good goal for their second one. And it's a bit poor from the first you look back on chances like this in games like this and you think that if they go away then it's a different story but there's a lot of ifs and again Miguel Almiron's the man with the top rating so it'll be the cup side that we put forth to play Burton Albion we're going to quick sim the match and hopefully advance through in the Carabao Cup with I was going to say with relative ease, but with a 2-1 scraping at home to Burton Albion. Goals coming from Joe Linton and Murphy to give us that result. You'll see some other results there in the cup competition. And that'll be all for this episode. Following our first three Premier League games, we sit in 13th with only one win from the three results, from the three fixtures that we've had. And it was a massive result as well. 6-0 six, six victory in the first day of the season. 3-2 loss, 2-0 loss. It's gone downhill a bit, of course. West Brom, as you can see, they are sitting bottom of the league with two other defeats. We travel to St. Mary's in the first game of next episode. But until then, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.